Okay, let's work a few examples and see how um, how switching back and forth is going to help us. This says find the exact value of each logarithm without using a calculator. So what we want to do is we want to find out what is log base 8 of 8. We want to know what does that equal. I don't know what that equals. That's a big question mark. Well, looking at the logarithmic form is not very informative. It, it, we just don't understand really what this is talking about. When that happens, try switching the form. Sometimes logarithmic form is easier to work with. Sometimes exponential form is easier to work with. So that's why you have to be good at switching back and forth. This time the log is not very helpful to me. So I'm going to switch this over to exponential. I'm going to take the base, which is 8, raise it to the other side, which is the amount that I don't know, equals the argument of what's left over there, the 8. Now this makes a lot more sense. 8 to what power has to equal 8? Well, that means that my unknown there has to be 1 because 8 to the first power is 8. This tells us then that log base 8 of 8 is equal to 1. Now we could check this again really quickly if you can switch the forms easily. Is 8 to the first power equal to 8? Yes, it is. This over here is really the exponent that makes that a true statement. Let's try another one. Here we have log base 2 of the 8th root of 2. Okay, so again, I don't really understand how to work with things in this form, so this equals something, some number that we don't know what it is. Let's try changing it over to exponential and see if that helps. So I'm going to take the base of 2, raise it to the other side. Remember this is the exponent here. Equals what's left over, or the argument position. So that would be the 8th root of 2. Now we had that rule when we were dealing with exponential equations that said if we can get the bases to be the exact same, then the exponents must equal each other. Well, I need to get both of these bases to be the same thing. It would be so nice if I could rewrite this as 2 to a power. And actually we can, because the 8th root is the same thing as saying the 1 8th power. So now we have 2 to the x equals 2 to the 1 8th. And because our bases are the same, that means that our exponents must equal each other. So x has to equal 1 8th. Now what that says is that log base 2 of the 8th root of 2 is 1 8th. Let's try one more. Here we have one that says log base square root of 2 of 4. We want to know what does that equal, some unknown amount. So again, let's try switching it over to exponential and see if that helps. So the square root of 2 is our base, raised to the other side, that's our exponent, equals the argument of 4. Now again, if I could get the bases to be the same, then the exponents would have to equal each other and I could solve for x. I'm going to rewrite 2 as 2 to the 1 half power. Remember the square root is the same thing as saying 1 half power. So 2 to the 1 half raised to the x equals, I could rewrite 4 as 2 squared. I'm just rewriting them both as a common base. Now power to power we would multiply, so 2 to the 1 half x equals 2 squared, and now that the bases are the same, the exponents must equal each other. So that says 1 half x has to equal 2. Now to solve that we would have to multiply both sides by 2 to get rid of the 1 half, so x would equal 4. So that says the log base square root of 2 of 4 equals 4.